last time we did this, we did the live stream, and then we went to the airport, and we waited a few hours, and we had a layover, and then we had like a, another layover, and then we were in our destination. This time, the moment we turn this stream off, we're on the road. The budget has been kind of nuts since the last trip because it was our first go at it. We have three days. We have till Monday to make this trip happen. So we have an RV out front. We wanted to keep the travel time down because A, it costs money to just go places. But B, we thought it would be fun to just like pile into a rad camper and go. We went and picked up this thing yesterday and- I can't believe we're doing this again. We're throwing this dart right now. Is everybody ready? Anticipation? The closest town looks like Milford. Yeah, how far is that? Eight hours and 30 minutes away. So it looks like uh, we're going to Utah today. Well. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Vegas. Sure is. <laughs> we should lose at least one dollar. I mean, we're here. I think it'd be kind of rude not to. That was the quickest ten dollars I think I've ever seen spent. It's pretty quick. We had a good run. Milford, Utah. Here we come. Awoken to being surrounded by some of the absolute most like beautiful, massive, incredible rocks. So we're, we're entering Zion right now, Zion National Park. We pulled up the camper at this little campsite last night. Now we are up early and we are headed into the national park. Some of this landscape looks like it's straight up on the moon. The only reason I know that we're still on Earth is because there's trees. You're not on the moon if there's trees. So we pulled over, uh, found this nice spot, walked around a bit. It's like a little beach down here. There's just all this sand. I see critters everywhere. And I just, I want to keep just looking at the rocks. When you get up close to the rocks, the texture and the little grains and lines and colors of the rocks are just so fascinating. It's crazy because you wonder how many human hands have touched that small little precipice up there or how many people have stood on that ridge. I'm constantly blown away by the fact that this land used to get traveled when people were riding horses and donkeys or how they built this road just so our dumb asses can come here and look at it. Yo, do you want to um, joust real quick? <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> When you were a kid, did you ever used to play uh, rock dodge with your dad? <laughs> oh, yes, Google Maps. I would like to add a photo to Zion National Park. Got it. Look, you can see the Zion in the back. God, this fucking seat. Anytime you move in this seat, this beeping, chirping goes off. It's happened 400 times. You have to swivel. There it goes. Oh my God. Stop, no. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. Do you like to? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you, where do you live? Here in Virgin. We're going to Milford like an hour and a half outside of here. You've never heard of Milford? No. That's crazy. 
Yeah. What direction are it's you? It's northeast. I, right after I graduated from college to North Carolina, fell in love with it, moved there, and then ever since I've been pretty places. I'll go visit them, and then I'll just be. That's I so want to cool. move there. That's, That's awesome. Which is what it's like the life version of what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah. What yes. you guys are doing is awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. All right, so we are somewhere around down here. This is the east entrance. We came in south entrance up here. Milford, up that way. So what do you want to do? I could easily find excuses to stay here for days just to look around because it's so insane. But we didn't throw a dart just to throw darts. Otherwise, we'd be professional dart throwers. <laughs> Eject your seat. <laughs> On to Milford. <laughs> <laughs> miles driving this town is tiny this literally looks like a ghost town right is that someone do they recognize yeah, us they recognize us she was like i'm just gonna look for a big red camper <laughs> not hard to we find pull up and you guys are just turning around i saw you guys had posted the stream and i literally was like they're totally going to like I just knew it, cause I knew you got the RV. It's not hard to find, yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's funny, like our first trip, what was it, President's Day? Yeah. So we, it's the same thing, it's like everything's closed. <laughs> so we just got to uh, Milford and a couple of you guys were waiting for us, which is crazy. They drove from Salt Lake, which is a couple hundred miles. It's Sunday and we're in Utah, nothing is open. We drove so far off the beaten path, like, like so many miles off of any sort of civilization to get to this town we're breaking all of our rules of like how we live our life when you plan a trip you're going to something for something on a certain date it hits home so hard to me that it is about this adventure it's about going somewhere completely last minute unplanned and getting here for whatever it has to serve us with. We just uh, passed the visitor center and we realized that it was closed because it's Sunday and everything's closed. Uh, and it reminded us that part of last minute trips is you don't really get to experience a town the way it's meant to be experienced. You get to experience it how it is when you're there. We just learned that any beer you buy at a grocery store and not a liquor store in all of Utah, no matter what brand, is 3.2 alcohol in it. They call it near beer. It's nerfed. They nerf the beer <laughs> at a grocery store. I guess that means we can drink that much more. <laughs> I just got like really homesick. Like, you know when you, you feel out of place a little bit? I got like a weird homesickness. And it's weird because we've spent all that time getting here and it's been such a fun trip and then as soon as we get to our destination i like not that there's anything wrong with this town it's it's actually a really cool place i don't know i just now all of a sudden i just want to go home the feeling you get when you're in this town uh with the sole purpose of wanting to come to this town not knowing why because a dart told you to is nothing you can prepare yourself with because I didn't know places like this existed. I didn't know there would be so few people here. I mean, I knew the number 1400 is small, but that pales in comparison to being in town and seeing nobody and nothing and run down businesses and teenagers who literally don't know what a YouTuber is. You know, that's not how you fly a drone, right? I think it's more powerful than just 
missing home. I think it makes you grateful for where you come from. To be able to throw a dart at a map and come to a place like this and leave completely blown away with that kind of feeling. It's just really wild to look back on the last 72 hours. We had a camper sitting in our driveway where we threw a dart at a map. A large handful of tiny towns, 1,100 miles, probably way too much fast food later. We found ourselves in a town called Milford, and that name will always be tied to the fact that I wasn't supposed to be here. But our curiosity for adventure just defied that. So for now. Hi, Milford.